So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. We've not yet met. My name is Peter Roberts. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how that if you learn this one simple thing, you can be better than 99% of life insurance agents in the industry. Um, the reason I make this video is to hopefully help you guys make more money in the industry, share with you all the lessons, failures that I'm using to build our life insurance agency and how life insurance has changed my life to ultimately help you provide a better lifestyle for your family and to hopefully feed your family. Most people come into the industry, end up completely broke, and I don't want you to be one of them. Um, so what I want to show you guys a quick little story here. So new agent that I just brought onto our team, uh, just to give you context, young gun, uh, he came in here, um, never really sold more than five policies ever with his old company, came in in the last 10 days, he sold 18 policies with us. Skill set was pretty much the same, underwriting knowledge was pretty much the same, tonality was pretty much the same. What made this life insurance agent succeed? And I'll share with you kind of the one thing, if you can make this tweak, and it sounds so silly, you can become way more successful. And it's something I believe a lot of coaches or a lot of leaders in the industry don't share with new agents because it's like kind of overlooked here. And what I want to share with you is it's the belief in the product. Um, I spoke to another agent uh, as well, and she's like, man, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I've, I've never made more than uh, four sales in a month, and like, I can tell I, I have a passion for loving people. I was like, do you believe in what you're selling? And I was like, she's like, absolutely not. But well, that's the reason why you're not getting the results that you want to share. So I want to share with you in this video how you can understand how to believe in selling the product that you have and ultimately how to structure and what we do inside of our agents agency to help our agents know what they're selling, learn what they're selling, and become a master at selling, okay? So the first thing I wanna share with you is the medical understanding or, or the medical um, expertise that you need to have as a new life insurance agent. It all comes down to mastering product. This video is about how to master a product so good that you believe in it, and ultimately how you can create an offer so good that sales becomes easy. And when you can create an offer so good by structuring your products the right way, because you know their health conditions, and you know what they're going through, and you know their income, you can make a ton of sales and you can become very successful in the life insurance industry. So the biggest mistake is most people either go to a captive agency where they only sell one product and Miss Betty comes in, Miss Betty, hey, I saw that you sent a request here. Uh, you're looking for life insurance, right? And I can only sell this, Miss Betty, this product. And you gotta put Miss Betty in a two year waiting period. And guess what? When there's other products out there that could serve Miss Betty or put her outside of a two year waiting period or put her in a cheaper or more affordable plan, how as the agent are you convicted when you say, Miss Betty, I'm going to put you in the best position. I'm going to put you, you and your family in the best position. How can you do that when you know you're lying to her? You can't. So I want to share with you what we do, how we structure it. And ultimately, I think one of the biggest mistakes that agents make is they sell things that they have no idea what they're selling. And especially if you're a new agent right now, you need to look at your medical underwriting skill set and think, do I actually know what I'm selling? Do I actually know what the best products are out there for the client? Do I actually know how to underwrite effectively? Do I believe in what I'm selling? And do I have the heart of service to put people in the best position, okay? So first way that you do it is through medical underwriting. We do it by simply using a, a software called Insurance Toolkits. Use any type of quarter software out there on the marketplace. And we underwrite people based off of their medical um, pro, uh, profile. For example, if Miss Betty has a heart attack, if Miss Betty has kidney dialysis, if Miss Betty has a stroke, if Miss Betty has diabetes, if Miss Betty has COPD, I know how to find her the best product, okay? So what we do with the underwriting is that we pair that we pair that with the best products in the industry. So we pair our products based off of people's health conditions, okay? I'm giving you guys away the good stuff. If someone has congestive heart failure, I know that I can find the best product based off that congestive heart failure, that they will get the day one coverage, that there will be no two year waiting period. It's gonna be the cheapest on the marketplace out of all the competitors, and I can put this person in the client. So guess what? When I can teach our team, when I can become an agent who knows ethically I am serving people to the highest regard, I am truly putting them in the best position based off of their medical analysis and putting them in the best price, what happens? You sell more life insurance. You create an offer so good for people to say, feel dumb to, feel, to say no to. For example, I'm like Miss Betty, you have congestive heart failure. There is no company in the whole entire state that is going to give you this day one coverage except this company here. They are not gonna make it wait two years. It's gonna be more affordable than XYZ company, XYZ company, XYZ company. You can look at Globe, you can look at Mutual, you can look at all these different companies. It's gonna be more affordable and it's gonna have an immediate payout. Does that make sense for you, Miss Betty? She's gonna say yes. 
And guess what happens? She creates a no-brainer sale, okay? And this is so important because there's no special word track that you need as a sales individual. There's no special word track or objection handling that you need. If you can find the best product for someone at a great rate when the value outweighs the price, she is going to buy. And the way that we create this, and if you become good and you can become better than everyone else, is you work with companies or you find the carriers that have the best products for the eight, for the client at the best rate based off of their underwriting, okay? Which means that you need to understand product knowledge. I'm going to touch on this again. You need to understand if someone's on Plavix, Amlodipine, Lisinopril, Carvedilol, and they're taking furosemide, that they have they have congestive heart failure. You need to find the congestive heart failure care. If someone is taking gabapentin and has nitroglycerin and someone has um, amputation due to diabetes, you got to understand what product can I put them with. And this is going to create that competitive moat around your business, who you are as a sales individual, and you're going to help a ton more people. But the minute that you start questioning yourself, or the minute that you start putting everyone in a two-year waiting period when they could go day one coverage, number one, you luckily they don't speak to us because we're going to find the best plan. Someone's going to replace that policy or put them in the best position, or ultimately, you're not going to have the conviction. You're not going to be like, oh man, I'm actually serving. I'm actually loving and helping these people as best as I can. And when you're putting everyone in a waiting period or you're putting everyone with a company where you don't know anything that you're doing, you put in a food and medications and it says two-year waiting period and you sell that, you are not going to feel like you're serving anybody and you're not going to have any competitive advantage and you're actually taking advantage of these old people because you're not doing your due diligence. You're not doing your ethical duty and your fiduciary responsibility as an advisor to put someone in the best position. So if you're struggling right now, how well do you know your products? Are you structured with a company that actually sells the best products in the industry? And third, are you being trained on your conviction? Do you actually see, last thing here, what your impact is in the marketplace? Uh, one thing that we just did here that I think is crucial, our company, uh, Legacy Family Life, has 400 five-star reviews uh, that just cross from actual clients that we've just sold. And it's it's the conviction that you get from selling the best products. It's the conviction of the testimonies of Miss Betty or Mr. John who leaves a five-star review on, on Google and says, man, Peter served me. He put me in the best position. He found me the best rate, and I really love this guy. Thank you, Peter. And when you do this over and over and over and over again, you build so much conviction. You become the number one life insurance that you've wanted to be. You start making the money that you wanted to be because you're serving and helping people. And number three, you have the ability to sell the best product on the marketplace, and you're getting feedback from the marketplace knowing that you are truly serving people. And weird, you make a ton of money by doing it. So this is a quick little video of why not, you can literally just do this. If you guys take this advice, you become better than 99% of life insurance agents because I have every day, um, I ask people like, okay, what products are you selling? I have no idea. Like, what's the waiting period? I have no idea. And they have no idea what they're selling and they're expecting why they're not making money. Understand how to master your product, structure your offer on your product, and it's all through your due diligence and your responsibility as an ethical agent to do that. I love you guys. Hope this video helped. And ultimately, keep working, keep serving, and help this love someone today. Love Miss Betty. Help these seniors. Help whoever you're speaking to become a better life insurance agent. Hope this helped. See you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.